Everyone claims themselves as mafia until the real gangster arrives. We use today's computers to gather information, to communicate with other people, play games, and watch age-restricted content. Today's smartphones are astonishingly more powerful than the supercomputers used in our grandpa's time period and the ones used during Apollo missions. But computing power is about to rise to unimaginable heights with the entry of quantum computers. These computers worked on principles from quantum physics and that gives gives them a huge boost in computing power. There are few problems which are so complicated that it would take our classical computers millions of years to solve. These problems are called intractable problems. But quantum computers can solve these problems in minutes or even seconds. They have the potential to revolutionize the world and the exciting thing is that we are not even able to fully even comprehend what their applications could be yet. These computers could be the only tools with which we could process the ginormous amount of data we produce every day. Nevertheless, I'll tell you why you'll be better off getting a cat than an actual quantum computer in the future. Though these quantum computers look more like cute chandeliers more than actual computers, they can solve problems that are computationally impossible to solve for our present computers. Yeah, all of this is impressive and all, but the real question is, can it run Minecraft though? And to know the answer to that question, stay tuned with me till the end of this video. In simple words, a quantum computer is simply a computer that works on the principles of quantum physics. Obvious, right? Quantum physics is one of the most exciting and also the most questionable field of science. They are kind of an accurate depiction of how I feel about girls. They are exciting, confusing, and I'm not quite sure how they work yet. Even my bro Einstein had his doubts on quantum physics. In one of his rants, he famously said, and I quote, The one called God does not play dice with this universe. Quantum mechanics is weird and fascinating. Our classical physics is a big joke and ceases to exist in the quantum realm. Everything is completely different here. Particles seem to sort of travel through time and teleport to different positions which is called quantum tunneling by the way. You see, a normal computer works with bits which are zeros and ones. A quantum computer on the other hand uses qubits which also uses zeros and ones but in a different way. To understand how, we need to understand some concepts in quantum physics. Now let's take a coin. We could very well use that to buy candy, but let's say we decide to spin it. Now, while the coin is spinning, if I ask you whether it shows heads or tails, what would be your answer? It is inconclusive, right? It doesn't make sense, but it's still spinning and fluctuating between heads and tails. You must be thinking that I'm insane. It won't be wrong if we say that it is both heads and tails at the same time. Or in other words, it's in superposition. Only when the coin stops spinning will we be able to know its state. This is known as quantum superposition, and this is how qubits store two values at the same time. There are a few ways to describe the state of qubits, but in a lot of cases, the spin of an electron is used to determine the state of a qubit like how they use transistor states in normal bits. Since qubits can hold multiple values at once, this gives quantum computers their huge increase in processing power. And like humans, qubits have the best long distance relationship story in all of history because there is another fascinating concept in quantum mechanics known as quantum entanglement. Basically, two electrons have some sort of connection between them. If you know the state of one qubit, you can very well predict the state of the other qubit that it is entangled with. For example, if one qubit has the value 0, the qubit that it is entangled with will have the corresponding value of 1. And this connection will remain as such no matter how far they are apart. You can literally keep one electron here on Earth and the other far away in the other side of the universe and that connection will still exist. I know, still a better love story than Twilight, right? My bro Einstein described this as spooky action at a distance. Using both these principles, processors can be made a million times more powerful and store an enormous amount of information. How huge? The processing power of a quantum computer is understood by looking at the expression 2 to the power n, and this n can be electrons, photons, or other subatomic particles. Now you can very well see that if we increase the number of qubits, there is a corresponding increase in processing power. One crucial thing to understand is that with with such unprecedented computing power, quantum computers can factor huge numbers very quickly. Now why is that a problem? Well, maybe because every single cyber security strategy will be absolutely hopeless against someone who uses a quantum computer, and the 0.0001% privacy that you have at present will be gone too. There is already research going on to prevent this and it's called post-quantum cryptography or PQC. The views are kind of split on the topic of whether quantum computers will destroy present encryption or make cybersecurity stronger than ever. 
but other than that, quantum computers will be fantastic in analyzing complicated phenomena with huge number of outcomes. They can also be very handy in simulations for the advancement of science. They can be used to simulate complex chemical reactions and, and enable scientists to study science like never before. This could mean life-saving vaccines, drugs, and even better materials. Maybe one day we'll become so technologically advanced that we can resurrect the queen. Who knows? So some major applications of quantum computers include improving cybersecurity, finally predicting accurate weather, predicting the stock market, and so on. We also have a lot of unanswered questions. How will the military handle quantum Quantum computing. What will happen if these computers get in the wrong hands like terrorists? Can a virus infect a quantum computer? Well, I don't know, but if I was a hacker with a quantum computer, then I would use it to, well, recrawl every single person on this planet. But let's answer the real question here. Can it run Minecraft? And the answer is unfortunately no. What a waste of time, right? Quantum computers will not replace our conventional computers. We will still be using our present computers for our everyday purposes. And quantum computers will be only used for our specific purposes that I just told you. Now you would think all this would increase its power consumption to new heights. But the interesting thing is that quantum computers will actually reduce power consumption anywhere from 100 to 1000 times because they use something called quantum tunneling. But wait, from the start of this video, I've been hyping up quantum computers a little too much. Let's tone down, shall we? Two years ago, Google announced that they achieved quantum supremacy with their quantum computer Psychomore. Quantum supremacy is a fancy name given to a feat when a quantum computer solves a problem which a conventional computer takes millions of years to solve. Google's claims were quickly questioned by IBM stating that they were just overreacting like a bunch of teenagers. The point is that few vendors were claiming that commercial quantum computers were just few years away, and they said that in 2017. We all know how that ended. Just how quantum computers are so awesome, they are also incredibly complicated. We are literally dealing with subatomic particles here, so we need to learn a lot. Quantum computers need to be kept at freezingly low temperatures. They need to be kept at a temperature just above absolute zero to ensure proper working and to avoid errors. Just like how I need coffee and attention all the time to function properly as a human. These computers are also very fragile, so any kind of vibration impacts the atoms and causes decoherence, so they need to be protected from that as well. But to make some significant breakthroughs in quantum computing, we need more number of qubits, better quality of qubits, feedback loops, fewer errors, cost efficiency, better maintenance, governments that actually care about people, and a lot more. So full-scale quantum computers will at least take another 10 to 15 years to be developed, or even longer to achieve quantum practicality. Yeah, they never stop giving these names. And even if they come, we will still be using our present computers for day-to-day -day purposes. And that is exactly why you will be far better off getting a cat than a quantum computer. Let me present my case. A cat doesn't cost you a trillion dollars, is fluffy and plays games with you, comes with soothing background noises, will happily help you with world domination, it will stab your back in the end, but still. But most important of all, a cat is a cat, and no metal box with messy wires and a bunch of code can replace that, ever. If you still haven't changed your mind yet, something is wrong with you, get help. Now, I don't know what you'll do if you ever get your hands on a quantum computer, but you can use the computer that you're using right now to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and like the video. And of course, as always, the choice is yours. Oh hey, still watching the video? I almost forgot to mention one of the most important applications of quantum computing. It's kind of obvious, but uh, advanced, unsupervised, self-learning, dangerous artificial intelligence plus full-scale quantum computing will most likely mean 